What is up, retro gamers? This is Vintendo back with the Retro Grab Bag Show. So this is a follow-up segment to the video I did, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, a modern playthrough. Now I'm doing this because on March 24th, 2021, I was able to beat Dracula in the Inverted Castle. Now I have the game around 170%. The max you can explore or unlock is 200.6. So I will eventually go back and explore both castles to see how close to that 200.6 I can get. And like I've stated before, the gameplay here is super fun, so it'll be great to get in there and just find a few more areas to unlock. So my son watched me play a great deal of this game over the past three months, and we only made one visit to the merchant in the library before entering the second castle. In case you didn't know, the second castle is an upside down version of the first one. So we wanted to go back into that first castle and buy more things to help us out. This entire time, I was collecting these library cards and I had no idea what they did. So finally, as we were getting closer to the end of the game, my son suggested that I use one, and presto. It immediately transports you to the library merchant. WTF. Was I supposed to have been doing this the whole time? This game, <laughs> this game might have been a lot easier had I made more than one visit to that merchant. Uh, so now that I have beaten this game, I wanted to update you on my personal top five Castlevania games list. Symphony of the Night was previously ranked at number four, but now it has moved up to number three. So that's in first place, Castlevania 3, second, Super Castlevania 4, three, Symphony of the Night, four, the original Castlevania on NES, and five, Bloodlines on the Sega Genesis. That game is awesome. I just can't bring myself to rank Symphony of the Night over Super Castlevania 4 purely because of nostalgic factor. You know what I mean? I grew up with Castlevania 3 and Super Castlevania 4. I unfortunately only played a lot of Symphony of the Night this year. And in case you are wondering, I have not had the chance yet to play uh, Rondo of Blood, although I very much want to. So there's kind of a bittersweet aspect to finally playing through a mega hit video game that you missed out on. For me, it would be Symphony of the Night. You can appreciate it as new for the first time right now, but you don't have that decades long connection to it. I don't know, do you know what I mean? Comment below. So I found out that once you have beaten both castles in this game, if you start a new game and simply title it Richter, you can now play as Richter Belmont. This turns the game into a more classic Castlevania, as the inventory system is now completely gone. You don't even need to level up either. It's a straightforward whip action adventure. Pretty freaking awesome. So that's my quick wrap up of finally playing through Symphony of the Night in 2021. It is an amazing game. I suggest if you are a Castlevania fan and you have not played it, please go ahead and do that. Our good friends at the podcast Plotty Time uh, have actually recently discussed Symphony of the Night at length. Um, I will link their uh, YouTube channel below. Please go check them out and check them out where podcasts are available. They are fantastic. Okay, that'll do it for now. So you guys have a great one. And as always, as Frank says, play hard. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. 